Hello! Time for our traditional New Year's feast, which isn't actually a thing and I have just invented. And this time, by which I mean the first time, it's peanut butter jelly time, like that old annoying song went. Except, yeah, it's kind of 50 year old peanut butter jam and cracker time. So, um, yeah, these are military rations, MREs as their own meal ready to eat. Or, um, I believe these older ones are referred to as MCIs, which is, uh, meal combat individual, something like that. Anyway, it's bloody old. These seem to come from the Vietnam War. So the Vietnam War ran from, it was about 20 years, wasn't it, from like 1955 to 1975. Uh, America didn't uh, get super involved until about halfway through, so that was like 1965. So this dates from somewhere between 1965 and 1975. I'm going to assume 1968. I have nothing to base that on other than the fact that that then means I can call this video 50 year old in the title. Oh dear me. So yeah, it's plain tin and stamped on the bottom is B1 unit crackers, cocoa and jam from Southern Packaging CD in ink. Com, 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 I can't read that, that's annoying, it's run off. I'm going to assume Southern Packaging Company Incorporated. There we are, that's a thing. So yeah, crack, I've just realised jam. I thought Americans called jam jelly. Is that something that's changed over the years? Is that a regional thing? Is is that a regional thing that has changed over the years? I don't know, but I do know this. The more I talk about that, the more time I'm putting between me having to actually eat this stuff and what's going on at the second. Um, yeah, blimey, this is going to be an excitement, isn't it? So yeah, these have been sitting in this tin for 50 Earth years, maybe longer, maybe a little less, who can say? Oh wait, where's the peanut butter? Yeah, that comes in this separate little punnet, which has been smashed about a bit. From Cinderella Foods, you shall not go to the ball, for you have food poisoning. Dawson, Georgia, one and a half ounces net. Um, something that confuses me is this has the key on top for opening up the old tin, which makes perfect sense. This one kind of doesn't, and you'll need a tin opener or something. So uh, I don't know what's happened there. Um, I do not understand. I tell you what I do understand. I can't put this off any longer. Right. <clears throat> Just remove the key. Oh god, yep, yeah, that's that's that usually I'd expect that to stay and snap off, but that has not happened. Uh how do we get this up? Oh there we are, yep, yeah, that's coming up quite easily. Good, marvellous. Let's wrap that round. Like a tin of spam or something. And Oh yep. Yeah. Ooh! Little release of uh some very old air there. There's gonna be quite a lot of the old cardboard in this by the looks of it. I'm guessing these things are individually wrapped inside as well. I don't know, I'm not too au fait with this stuff. Nice and shiny on the inside, that's something. Right then, be careful because it's going to be super sharp. Do 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 do. We have. Mmm. Mmm. Lovely. Ooh, ooh. I don't, ooh. Something's happened here, and I'll tell you what, it wasn't good. I shall use an implement. Oh god, uh, let's uh, pop that there. I might put that on there. Just on the old thing there, so it doesn't totally destroy the so sofa. Peach Jam from Bauma Foods. New Orleans, LA. Punch through and line up and something. Hmm. Doesn't really smell of anything at all. I'm guessing this is leaked in some way, has it? I mean, it seems odd that it would have, but hmm, it does seem to have, so that's nice. Crackers! Crackers ahoy! Mmm, here's a mouldy one where the peach has got to it. Let's have a look at one further down. Well, there it is. If you particularly want that as your desktop background for some reason. Um, yeah, that's a thing. Oh, and oh, I've knocked the camera. Hang on. Whoop. Yay, we're back in the room. Um, cocoa beverage powder. I wasn't sure if this was going to be cocoa or chocolate, but um, no, I suppose they would have just called it chocolate as opposed to being confusing. Cocoa beverage powder. Crumble thoroughly in hand before opening. Add to small amount of water and make smooth paste. Stir, adding hot or cold water to fill canteen cup half full. Hmm, so it's hot chocolate. Well, we'll be trying some of that later, by which I mean I'll make it and then sip it and then regret my life choices that led me to this juncture. Um, right. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> We're going to have to try it, aren't we? This doesn't look too mouldy. It appears to have some salt on it or something. It doesn't smell of anything much, I suppose. Uh, this, I was going to say, has this been exposed to the elements through leaking? But I suppose, thinking about it, it was inside another tin, wasn't it? So apparently you can punch it and then rip it open. I think I'm just going to go in with the old, uh, 
um, uh, tin opener here. Oh dear. Oh, oh, the horror, the horror. The peach jam. It's an intrigue that it's called jam. Some American guy in the comments, tell us what all that's about. Mm-mm. That looks like something that's been scraped off the undercarriage of an aircraft. And it smells of literally nothing. Marvellous. Well, better get the peanut butter open as well. These are, I'm sure these are fine. They've got high sugar. Ugh. Oh, and that's 2018 in a nutshell, guys. A big squirt of liquid diarrhea when you least expect it. Um, oh, oh dear. This is a uh, problematic one could say. Oh, there's quite a lot of rust around here as well. Yeah, hopefully I can eat some of that. That'll be great. Um, this, this doesn't appear to be opening. Hmm, not entirely convinced that this is going to be an edible thing. Can we sort of open it through the side? Is that a thing which we can force to happen? Yes, I think it is. And peel the lid right off. Like a bunch of maniacs. Oh no, no, that's not working. Nope. Error. Abort. Abort. Uh, hmm. Hmm. This, this could be going better. For starters, we could have less of this stuff in our lives. Um. Yeah. Right. Come on. You can undo it. Go, tin opener. Yes, flip it over horribly and leak it everywhere. That's exactly what we wanted. Oh God, I think I've actually got enough of a corner up. Maybe we can tease it open with a fork. Again, one of those phrases you never expect to say in your entire life. Um, uh, yep. We got some stuff, guys. Mmm. Look at that. Oh, it's, it's got an intriguing smell. And by intriguing, I do not mean good. Um, Ooh, that smells faintly of peanut rot butter, but slightly more of rot. Right, let's get this over with. My life, that is. Uh, oh God. Yeah, that's this. Mmm, 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 mm, mm, mm. and other noises that are basically lies. Um, let's. Uh, oh no, get that on there properly. I'm not going to be eating much of this. I probably shouldn't be eating any of it at all. Uh, Come on, come on, a little bit. Oh God, this is just calcified into horror, which sounds like a Junji Ito story collection. But um, uh, uh, no, most of this may actually be too hard to do anything with. Yeah, I think that's kind of that's the most we're going to get out of that. I think. Right, <clears throat> I'm going to push this more to the edge, so I have to eat less of the cracker. I'm going to take a bite, and then I shall explain to you what the experience was like. Bon appétit, mes amis. So that was an experience. Um, yeah, so the cracker was slightly soft, but not entirely soft. Um, I got no particular taste of peanut butter, or indeed jam. All I really got was a taste of rot, of uh, things that have decayed and should not be in your mouth, and that was not particularly good. Um, yeah, I'm very glad I didn't swallow any of that. Put it that way. Um, so it's given me time to go and have a play with the old cocoa, and I'm going to be honest, it's pretty bloody old cocoa. Um, yeah, it, it's gone a little hard over the years, one could say. Ah. One lump or two. Um, so what I've done is uh, managed to get a, a small amount in there and sort of try and get it to dissolve a bit in hot water. It's not gone too well. It smells cocoa-y. I'm going to take a tiny, tiny sip. A tiny, tiny, tiny sip. I'm actually, I'm actually, no, no, no. This may not have cooled down. This may just be absolutely boiling water. Hang on. Oh, no, should be fine. Right. To scorch myself horribly. I could do without that. Right. In tat we trust. Um, fingers crossed. Oh, that was the tiniest mouthful. I've got to say, actually, that just tastes of cocoa powder, really. Not really getting it all. Oh, no, there we go. Slight aftertaste of something rancid. Mm -mm -mm. Quite slight, though. Um, 
yeah that, that seems to have fared a lot better over the years taste wise than the other bits but um yeah uh sort of uh texture wise well it's a bit far gone really isn't it oh dear there's a chap on youtube uh, you're probably aware of called steve mre who just eats loads of these things this is very knowledgeable on the subject frankly i don't know how he's still alive because he seems to eat quite a lot of it um well i feel your pain stephen um so that's it that's our <laughs> lovely new year's feast for 2018 oh what, what a, a thing that was oh dear New Year's Eve feast, sorry, not New Year's. That, that would have happened quite some time ago. Well, as it's New Year's Eve, we'd better have a firework, I suppose. Look, it's a Bengal match, which is like one of those indoor fireworks that's rubbish. Ready? That was actually worse than I was expecting, and that's saying something. Well, a happy new year to you all. I look forward to cleaning bits of rancid biscuit out of this room that I've spat everywhere for the next year. Mmm, 2019. Subscribe for more.